<coughs> what we need to do now is uh, take care of user interface to do this uh, I've already already added when you weren't paying attention <laughs> uh, the, a, a new window called login so let me present it uh, here we have uh, labels text boxes and the button we'll got we will have a text username and text password and we have a login button which has a click event let's go to it and see uh, things are pretty simple here we just instantiate an object user bo from business logic layer and uh, we'll just have a new object of user type as the entity user which will be a return it value from the get user method if the user it's not now then uh, no uh, the provided username was wrong otherwise we will have a welcome message uh, in able to use this entity we will need to do a simple thing from uh, copy the application config from here to the user interface here because we need the connection string uh, there's something else we need to do here we will just make the login window first to run save it let's build it and be a whoa whoa success this is incredible and let's start the I'm not happy yet oh 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 sorry let's just make this the startup project save it and uh, run it huh? okay so here we have the window we just saw uh, I have a user added admin which should exist but uh, first we'll test from some serious user wait hope oh, here is what we've wait for wrong username and if I make admin welcome well well welcome so let's just make a quick quick recap here in and Noya EF we got the entity model where we have the entities created based on the connection string to the SQL CE database then we have the data access layer in which we have the user DO which simply searches with the link to entity for the username provided the user bio located in the business logic layer calls that user do object and its method and the user interface here calls the object from the business logic layer so as you can see this always has something to do with this and this one asks this only only in the case needed the entity represents something like a transporter for the data so basically this is what uh, an entire architecture should look like or at least from my point of view please feel free to comment uh, I say it again here in the business logic layer we will have 
validations and checks. This will be done in the next tutorial, as I said two times before. Uh, we, we will have business rules, strong business rules, and in case a business rule is broken, this doesn't get called. So the data access layer stays put and relaxed because no one is bothering it. Basically, this is all I wanted to say. Uh, I would like to thank my friend Christy. He has been uh, very helpful to me. I managed, he explained me, he filled some gaps I had about entire architecture. So thank you, man. You've really, really, really helped me because there are some great people who help uh, I'm trying to help others beginners like me feel free to comment feel free to email feel free to ask maybe this is, isn't the best architecture possible but from what I see it kind of does its it kind of serves its purpose, purpose. So in the next day I shall try to make the validations and checks in the business logic layer and see how uh, we can uh, send it back to the UE layer as a um, form, as a list of errors encountered. And until then I wish you all the best and happy coding. Cheers.